okay um if you're just joining us please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell question 5 is, is convert 101 base 10 to a number in base 9 okay so to convert any number to base 9 you perform a long division of that um, number using the base so this is going to be base 9 and we are going to be converting 101 so 9 into um, 101 you're going to have um, that um, 11 that's that's supposed to be um, 99 so that's 11 now we'll have a remainder 2 so that's 99 plus 2 that will give you back your 101 9 to 11 you have 1 and you have remainder 2 then 9 into 1 it cannot go um, that's going to be um, 0 remainder 1 Okay, so with this, you recall, we always count from here to here. So you're going to write 1, 2, 2, base 9. Okay, on your own, you can try converting back 1, 2, 2, base 9 to base 10 and ensure you are going to get exactly the same answer. So the B part of the question says, evaluate 2 or 7... 203 base 7 minus 154 base 7, giving your answer in base 7. Now, to do this, I'm going to perform a subtraction 154, this is going to be base 7, this is going to be base 7. Okay, so now to subtract this, you have to understand that we are not working with base 10, that we are not working with base um, 7. So, um, can 3 subtract 4? No, it cannot go, and we can't. There's zero here, so we are going to borrow one from here. Now, when you borrow one from here, here is going to remain one. Now, that one is going to be called seven, so seven is going to be here now. So, any particular number you borrow will be called seven, but when you work on the base 10, when you borrow a number, it's called base it's it's called 10, but now we're working on the base seven, so any number you borrow is going to call seven. So now we borrow another one from the 7, and here is going to be 6. So we now have that um, 7 plus 3. So 7 plus 3 is going to give us 10. 10 minus 4, it's going to give us um, that 6. Okay, so you have 6 minus 5 here, and you're going to have what? That um, 1, and this is going to be base 7. So it's going to be... 16 base 7. So that's how to solve that question. So that will take us to um, the next question which says solve the simultaneous equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 28 and um, x plus 5y is equal to 35. Now I'm going to call this my equation 1 and I'm going to call this my equation 2. I cannot make um, from equation 2 we're going to say x is going to be 35 collecting like terms my making x the subject of the formula minus 5y Okay, so now if x is equal to 35 minus 5y, I'm going to call this my equation 3 I will now say put equation 3 in 1 Okay, so um, instead of writing x now, I'm going to write 35 minus 5y plus 3y it's equal to 28 so 2 times 35 is going to give me um, that will give me 70 uh, minus 2 times 5y is going to give me 10y plus 3y it's equal to 28 now this is going to give me 70 minus 10y plus 3y is going to give me minus 7y is equal to 28 so collecting like terms um, this is going to be 70 minus 28 it's equal to 7y. So 70, um, subtracting 70 from 28, we are going to have, um, that's 10 minus 8. We're going to have 2. And um, we're going to have um, 6 minus 2. That will be 4. So 42 is equal to 7y. So from here, y will be 42 divided by 7. Therefore, my y is going to be 6. Okay, so now we know that y is 6. I'm going to say put y in equation 3. So this is going to be x is equal to 35 subtract 5 times y which is now 6. So x is going to be 
35 minus 30. So x is going to be um, 5. So x comma y is going to be 5 comma 6. So this is my final answer. Now you can test this in equation 2. Let's be sure that our answer is correct. x plus 5y. Now this is a rough work for you. You can now say this is going to be 5 plus 5 times 6. So the 5 times 6 is 30 plus 5. This is going to give you 35. So you can see that our answer is correct. Now the next question says um, we should solve the equation below. Now in order to solve this equation, the first thing you need to do is you are going to do a cross multiplication. So this is going to be 4 into 2y plus 5 is equal to um, 9 into 3y minus 2. So now we need to expand the bracket. So 4 times 2y is going to give us 8y plus 4 times 5 is going to give us 20. It's equal to 9 times 3y is going to give us 27y. 9 times 2 is going to give us 18. At this point, we collect the like terms. Collect like terms. So this is going to be um, 20 minus 18 coming over. It's going to be plus 18 is equal to 27y. Plus 8y going over is going to be minus 8y. Now 20 plus 18 is going to give us 38 is equal to 27 minus 8y is going to give us 19y. Therefore, y is going to be 38 over 19, and that's equal to what? 2. So if you substitute 2 in the equation, you'll see you're going to get 9 over 4. So this is the correct answer. Okay, so the next question says make A the subject of the formula. Now, in order to make A the subject of the formula, all we need to do is isolate A. So, in order to isolate A in this equation, um, we collect like terms, keeping A alone. So, this is going to be 1 over A is equal to 3 minus plus 1 over B coming over will become minus 1 over B. So, this is going to be 1 over A is equal to, recall this is going to be 3 over 1. So, you draw your LCM. It's going to be b, b times 1 is b, b times 3 is going to be 3b, minus b into b will be 1, 1 times 1 is going to be 1. So at this point, now, notice 1 over a is equal to 3b minus 1, therefore a over 1 is going to give me what? You invert this side, so this is going to be b over 3b minus 1, therefore a will be equal to b over 3b minus 1. Final answer, as easy as that.